Hear me. If you don't know who I am, I am the son of Archbishop Benson Idahosa of blessed memory. Brought out by Evangelist T.L. Osborne and Papa Helton. I know my spiritual roots. I know where I came from. I don't give money to people for them to become my father. I don't call anybody my father. Dr. Sorrell was a father after Idahosa passed. He fathered me for many, 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 many years. I don't call people father just like that. I knew him for many years. Dr. Samrod, I knew him for many years. I moved and I stayed in South Bend, Indiana for many years. I knew Dr. Samrod very well. I don't just call people father. I'm not a, I'm not a novice in the things of God. I know where I came from. I know my spiritual DNA and there is no level of success I can achieve in life that can change the history of who I am and where I came from. Today, there is a generation that doesn't honor their father. They call everybody father. They have 20 fathers. They are even ashamed to call their father father because they feel they are more anointed than their father. My father never wrote a book. My father didn't do some of the things I've done. But my father is still E.K. Duncan Williams, the first mayor of Kumasi. E.K. Duncan Williams, so Makuma dying. That is my father. And it doesn't matter how high and tall and big and huge I become. E.K. Duncan Williams will always be my father. So this new spirit that has come upon the charismatic church, as soon as you have money or numbers than whoever lay hands on you you are bigger than him better than him there was a time i was going through some family crisis and a young man that i've trained brought him up he became very successful in a certain country he he was ashamed of me he thought i was never going to make it and he was immediately he changed who his father was and made someone else is his father so the guy who he made his father call me and said, I learned he's one of your sons. I said, he used to be. He wants me to father. I say, father him. And he will take big offerings and go and give it to that guy. Then later on, he found out that that guy he went to submit to was going through a very shameful situation than me. So he came to me and said, papa. And I said, you are calling me papa. I thought we are co-equals. He said, I just discovered this thing about that guy. The guy is a homosexual, so I don't want to submit to him. And I said, you, what is wrong with you? He's a homosexual. You didn't know that before. You are now telling me, I can't help you. And it's all because he had somebody who gave him some huge money. And the person who gave him money to build his church came to see me. He was in big trouble and said, Papa, what have I done wrong? And I said, let me tell you what you did wrong. You help a servant to ride on the horses of princes then you are paying for the implications for that he said I have seen princes walking on barefoot and servant riding horses I said you serve as you, you gave money to a servant and exalted him without him going through the process and the rank and made him better than a prince and that is the judgment for it We are changing the order. And there are serious implications. Verse 20. Look at 20. Give yeah. him some of your authority. Do what? Give him some of your authority. Do what? <laughs> authority, you don't take it. It's conferred on you. It's delegated. Give him. He didn't say give him your authority. He said give him some. Today we have come. To give some of our authority to bishop designated. Not all, but some. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I said some. That's what the Bible says. Give him some. Amen. Deuteronomy 34. Deuteronomy 34, 9. Mm -hmm. And Joshua, yeah. the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom. Mm -hmm. For Moses had laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him and did as the Lord commanded Moses. You see, 
Joshua had what? Talk to me. He was full of what? Wisdom. Why? Because Moses had laid hands upon him. The Bible says, stir up the gift of God which is in you, which you receive by the laying off of hands of the presbytery. It's, listen, somebody said, well, I was reading his book and the mantle came on me. No, 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 no. You are changing the order. No. When you read my book, you get my knowledge and my revelation, but you don't get my mantle. And all this attitude of nobody can lay hands on me. I was dealing with a situation. I was invited for a consecration service. And there was this bishop consecrating a lot of bishops. He's huge, big. In this country somewhere in Africa. I won't mention the name. And I asked about him. That I said, who consecrated him? Nobody. He just got a consecration certificate from America. He paid for it. So they gave him certificate of consecration by an organization. He paid for it. $2,000, but nobody consecrated him. And I said, I cannot join the consecration because I don't know where he's coming from. I don't know his spiritual DNA. How can you consecrate others when you haven't been consecrated? How can you lay hands on others when no one has laid hands on you? How can you ordain others when no one has ordained you? You are a hypocrite. So I said, I'm sorry. Oh, they, they'll give me big money. I said, I said, listen, I don't preach for money anymore. I used to when I was a young preacher. I don't preach for money anymore. Yeah, God blesses me with money everywhere. Sometimes I'm in the plane and I'm sleeping and the flight attendant will wake me up and say, there is a lady, there's a gentleman, they have to see you, they say you are their papa. I say, let them come. And they will kneel down, put money, $5,000, $10,000, $35,000 feet above sea level in the plane whilst I'm sleeping. Papa, you don't know me. I'm one of your daughters. I'm one of your sons. You've blessed me. I just want to connect. And they put money on my feet. I lay my hands. You are blessed. I was going, I went to a hotel in Accra and I was going to use the restroom, Holiday Inn. And I saw this gentleman following me. I didn't like the way he was following me. And I did some martial art. So I started exercising and checking myself if the anointing is still there. Just in case he tries everything, I can block him and override him. I came out from the restroom washing my feet hands he came and knelt down at my feet in the toilet and laid two thousand dollars on my feet and said papa you don't know me i'm one of your sons i just saw you so i just came through to bless you in the toilet